Hey there, fellow adult collectors. Welcome back. David Eon and trivia master extraordinaire, Lady Pop Hunter. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you should see her with the game shows. I am good at trivia. Yeah, she is good at the trivia I'll of the game shows. I don't win nothing. Especially uh, supermarket sweep. <laughs> but those people are stupid, though. We did good on a cruise. Yeah, you we know, did. You know, we won a ship and a bottle of wine the and all we, kind of we stuff. We came back with like, a, like nine of those trophies and a ton of wine i gave them all to my dad because we don't we drink. don't drink they gave us bottles of wine though yeah. but anyways why, why <laughs> back to the point i don't know we got off track already we just started hey everybody welcome back uh <laughs> david eon and the lovely miss lady pop hunter and we are going to be taking a look of course at some of what is hitting the adult collectors market here shortly in the way of primarily action figures before yes. we do that announcements announcements uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday, August 20th, we will be at Legion, the Legion Comic Book Toy and Art Convention, which is noon to 5, and where is that? In Smyrna, Georgia. Smyrna, Georgia, you should see 160 me. Legion Drive is the American Legion Post 160, so the American Legion building in Smyrna. Yeah, it's a free comic book for every kid who attends with a paid admission. So I'll be walking in on my knees and you will be my mom. You can be a kid at heart or a you can identify as a kid. There's got to be a paid admission. Yeah. Yeah, I identify as a child. I want my damn comic. Go in there with that pamper on, like that one guy. He, oh, was, he used to wear the pamper and slept in the, um, in the crib. In the giant crib. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Anyways... Next show, I think this is the next one, of course, will be Joe Lanta in September, September 9th to 11th. And, oh, big surprise, Sergeant Slaughter will be there. He's, does he live in Atlanta? I think he lives in the hotel, because every every uh, show, he's there. Because he's, the, he's always in the one in Atlanta, and he's yeah. always in the one in... Um, Joe, Joe Lanta and, and Joe um, Fest. Yeah, the one in Augusta. Now, this one, this time, is in Peachtree Corner, so yes. it's not in Marietta. So, look at the address. Pay attention. Yeah, because I guess they're going to bounce it back and forth, east to west, east to west. Yeah, uh, and uh, kudos to him for having the gumption to actually show a modern photo of himself instead of a picture of himself from, like, 1981, <laughs> like most of these guys do. Like the do. cartoon picture. Well, the cartoon picture, I mean, that's G.I. Joe. You, you know the association, but yeah. usually the, uh, a lot of these wrestlers, it's like you look at it, and it's like, oh, it's so-and-so, and then you meet him in person, and it's that was a picture from 40 years ago. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> we'll start off with Bandai. Bandai SH Monster Arts, and there is the King Kong from Kong vs. Godzilla. They even got a stand with the three ships. Mm-hmm. And this is only six inches, though. Oh, Six inches tall, 110. Ooh. 110 for this. It, um. He would make a great uh, Gorilla Grodd if you dressed him up. Mm -hmm. Gorilla Grodd, I think, would still be bigger in 112 scale, though. Mm -hmm. How about something from Beast Kingdom? And it is the Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I used to watch that. Yeah, see that they got the little bug and the little... What is that, a shovel? Like, yeah, because <laughs> they were... Um, like Indiana Jones. Yeah, who are they supposed to be? Indiana Jones and who's the other one? Magnum mm, PI? I don't know. I <laughs> Anyways, these are four inches tall, even though they're from the dynamic eight inch action heroes range. They are four inches, $80 for the pair. Yeah, well, how about another one from QMX? And that is Captain Jonathan Archer. Mm -hmm. Captain Jonathan Archer. From, of course, Star Trek Enterprise, which was the last of the original Paramount Studios Star Treks before the modern era when they ruined it. <laughs> 205 for Captain Archer from XO6. He's even got the dog. Back to Fresh Monkey again. We saw Fresh Monkey last week. I, what do they only make stuff for Big Bad Toy Store? Everything, yes. everything I see Fresh Monkey is like a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Mm -hmm. This is The Madman, another comic that you rarely ever see, comic character. Madman, $25, and these are, what, five inches tall, five points of articulation. And jetpack version, Madman, which basically means they put Madman's head on one of the Rocketeer figures from the last wave. Mm. 
also $25, also Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. <laughs> I know I'm awful. It's the truth, though. How about Funko, ladies and gentlemen? Any, any fun in Funko anymore? How about Batman? Batman, Gotham City Batman, glows in the dark, or rather his emblem and his eyes do. That's a Funko exclusive. Mm. Big Hero oh, yeah, 6. Soda now. Yeah, Big Hero 6. And this is part of the D23 line because they've got the Disney 23, D23 yeah. um, exclusives. And there's another one of those three liters. So that's a big figure. I think he's about well, seven inches. Hmm. Pinocchio. Yeah, well, that's uh, Jiminy Cricket, actually. Jiminy Cricket was dressed a little bit more raggedy. Was he? In the, in the Pinocchio film, I think. He was mm. like a hobo. That is uh, Lucifer from Cinderella. Lucifer. Oh, okay. Bad kitty. Frozone from The Incredibles. Sodas. Notice the transition here. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to see more, uh, I, th I think, there's at least uh, almost a 50% ratio on sodas to pops for this event. Oh, okay. That's uh, Kronk, Devil Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. I don't know if he was a devil. I barely remember the film anyway, so I couldn't tell you. I have it. I've, I've seen it when it first well, You know they've out. expanded on it quite a bit, too. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, no. The airline Mickey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The pilot. Yes. Regular Mickey <laughs> from the airline. I mean, it's just basically... Him outside of outside the... Outside of the plane, not attached to it. <laughs> oh, boy. Classic Mickey and Minnie 2-pack. How to fly. How to fly. They should have had Mickey, I mean, Minnie in a stewardess outfit. Well, I mean, this is, you know... I mean, to go with the other one. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Donald Duck soda. That's from the Musketeers. The three mu mus Musketeers. And the other one is flocked. I guess what? He's flocked where the feathers go. Philhar Magic Mickey Mouse. Philhar Magic. From Fantasia. I, I guess. Regular and Diamond. I never seen Fantasia, but I heard that was like their best. Yeah, really, really great animation. It's yeah. basically like music videos, but it's really great animation. Mm -hmm. T-shirt? Disney used to do really good cartoons, but yeah, used to. I don't know what they do now. Make a mess. Yeah, take Cronk. all the little popular superheroes and make them in the garbage. Lab Kronk. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you needed that. Yeah. And thing. we're out of the D23 stuff, and that's the Amazon exclusive, and that, of course, is the Shocker, or, or Electro. Did we see those As, other ones? Yes, we've seen them all. They were, they were revealing them one at a time. Oh. Um, beyond amazing. It is. Okay. Oh, there's a bad choice for you. The Flash! The Flash, lights and sounds, Flash, so... More expensive flash, oh, so basically. Oh, light up and make some noise. Like what kind of noise? And you're gonna sit there and press the button a hundred times. The battery will die in, <laughs> in like three minutes. Like Five Nights at Freddy's snaps. What's a snap? I am not sure what a snap is, but that's what the, that this is them. And two of them are two packs. Snaps. They come on a card. I believe they come on a card. Mm, snaps. Snaps. And then Snap. these play sets. Play set with vinyl figure. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I never played it, so I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be anyway. I guess one of them is the like the birthday little section in front of the stage, like they do a Chuck E. Cheese. Snaps. Yeah. Snaps. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Edition, and that is Greed going to Hot Topic. Hot Topic uh, hasn't done exclusives for a minute. Mm-hmm. They used to be weighed down with um, exclusives. Yeah, they were buried in them. And before it's too late, She-Hulk. Because it's not looking too good for She-Hulk. <laughs> they don't have her as the Hulk. People didn't want a Marvel sitcom. Well, I'm sure there'll be more. Yeah. 
they'll, they'll do some more, try to crank them out there before people lose interest. And that is going to be it for Funko. Funko. And we can look at something from Hasbro. Just one thing from Hasbro. Oh, wow. And that is the she -Hulk. Legends She-Hulk with the Infinity Ultron piece. They're going to finish that Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure one of these days. It's been, they've been working on it for a year now, <laughs> dribbling out the pieces, uh, the, the figures one at a time. No, uh, $26 price range. Notice the lack of accessories. But well, I mean, what does the Hulk use? Something. I mean, they. I'm just pointing out that I've noticed that recently there's been a, a, a big cutback on accessories mm -hmm. with the Legends figures. You know, a pair of hands, that's it. And see, I mean, usually there's, ex, there's other hands, there's uh, maybe weapons, there's something, and they've just really scaled that back. Mm. How about Hot Toys? Mm -hmm. Hot Toys has a lot this week. Black Panther original suit. Black so Panther. a remake of what they already did. Yeah, or some kind of variation on the uh, previous one. Notice there's two masks. Yeah, one with the mouth open and closed. Yeah, an earlier version of the mask, a more 70s looking version of the mask, and mm -hmm. then uh, that one. 300. 300 so you for get this. three heads. Yes, you get three heads, essentially. Unless that's actually a mask that fits over his face. No, they ain't doing all that. Or maybe the one mask, maybe the one head splits. I don't know. It's $300. Yeah. I'm confused. Grand Inquisitor from Obi-Wan. Grand Inquisitor comes in at 275. $275 for the Grand Inquisitor. That saber looks cumbersome. Yeah. Robocop from Robocop 3, the one that Peter Weller wouldn't have anything to do with. And if he read the script, I understand why, because <laughs> Robocop 3 was not very good. Faceplate change-outs, of course, so that you yeah. can make him doing different things. I mean, it looks cool, but the film wasn't that good. The first two films were really good. 390 for Robocop, mm. although he does have die-cast components. Mm -hmm. I will give him that much. Johnson. From? From Warriors of future and that's a direct translation okay warriors of future and this is i don't think it's die cast it's a pretty well detailed but i bet you he doesn't move very well i bet you he's got not... a good face sculpt yeah if you know who that is yeah if you know who that is 335 for this hmm. and then you have to have tyler Okay. If you got Johnson, you gotta have Tyler. Yeah. Also three hundred and thirty five. I think there are die cast parts on these actually, now that I think about it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they are die cast. Warriors of Future. They look different. You know, if you had these in your Hot Toys collection, it's uh it's out there from what most Hot Toys collectors have. Yeah, you but if I mean? you like doing like um Soldier uh, dioramas, they're fitting yeah. in with that. That too, yeah. It looks interesting. I'll look up and see what Warriors of Future is. Obviously, it's a, a movie. Could be a video game. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guessing it's a movie. How about McFarlane? Okay. And guess what? what? No Batmans. Good. No Batman stuff. Oh, gee, you say that now. Wait till next week. I know, it'll be 10. Yeah. Well, more Warhammer stuff, and mm -hmm. this is Warhammer Dark Tide. Warhammer Forty Thousand Dark Tide, and that is Ogryn. Ogryn is a, a deluxe size figure. He is forty-two dollars. He's ugly too. Yeah. More Dark Tide. That is the Veteran Guardsman, and this is back in the twenty-dollar range. You have a Veteran Guardsman proof. Because, of course, you know, that it's tra a tradition for people who are into Warhammer to paint models. Okay. Although I noticed that the proof has different accessories and a different head, and it has head like sculpt. a face to it. Yeah, the other one doesn't have a face. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Traitor Guard. You can tell he's a traitor because he's ugly. 
<laughs> what does that mean? He's ugly. He must be a traitor. Bastard. And, of course, a proof. traitor proof, which is identical to the traitor guard. And that'll do it for McFarlane. NECA has the killer clowns Slim and Chubby in Toonie Terrors. Toonie Terrors, Slim and Chubby. Three points of articulation, if you even want to call it that. $59 suggested wow. retail. And you know how big these are. Yeah, they're not that big. They are, they're like, what, five, six inches? Not even six. I mean, mm. it's probably like four or five inch range, right? Mm. They are tiny. I'm like, wow. And again, I you can find it cheaper. Pack. Like, I think they're on sale at Big Bad Toy Store. But still, I mean, the suggested retail is 59 I think the Big Bad Toy Store is like $48, $49. Yeah, but, but if still, you wait long enough at Walmart or Target, it might go on clearance. Maybe. Storm Collectibles. Geese Howard. Geese Howard from King of Fighters. 1 12th scale. And this is a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Huh. They look a little like Van Damme. Bit blonde here. Yeah, he just need that knot. You know, Van, Van Damme has that knot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I'm awful. But he does, though. And he never tried to remove it. Uh, 110 for Geese Howard. And Super 7 yeah. with another wave of Ninja Turtle stuff. Genghis Frog. Genghis Frog. Space Cadet <laughs> Raphael. Space Cadet Raphael. How can he get... Oh, I guess the pizza is hermetically sealed. I guess. That's why it's, like, in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Robot Rocksteady. The, uh, the uh, ultimates are 55 However, ro uh, Robot Rocksteady here is 65 He's $10 more than the other Ultimates figures. Because he's a little bit bigger. Yeah, he's probably he's like, what, half inch taller? I don't know. Plastic. Okay. Plastic expenses. That's ridiculous. <laughs> they should... Uh, plastic uh, should, should go down because there'll be more available now that Hasbro doesn't want to use it. Hmm. And... Shredder 87 cartoon armor version. Okay. And he comes with a vinyl cape, but then his robe is mixed media. Yeah, because you can see that it looks like yeah. cloth. So I I guess if you want to put the cloth cape on him instead of having that vinyl one. Mm-hmm. How about 3-0? Yeah. 3-0, they're MDLX Transformers. These are about 7 inch range. I think, what, 42 points of articulation? Mm -hmm. And it has die cast parts. Die cast parts, nickel zinc or whatever they call it, the die cast. Mm -hmm. $80. And that is the Megatron, obviously. And not to be outdone, naturally, they're going to have an Optimus Prime. Same conditions, about the same articulation, roughly 7 inches tall. Uh, die cast metal parts, 80 bucks. I, I wonder if there's any other Transformers besides Megatron, Optimus Prime, and uh, Bumblebee. I think those are the only three, right? <laughs> they there, did there aren't have any sound others. wave because oh, I have the sound wave. That's wave. right, there is a sound wave. Yeah. No, I mean in general because it seems I like know, those are the only these ones toy that companies get done. always ever just make those. I mean, this, but there must be like 200. Transformers. Yeah, but you had others that were popular, you know, like yeah. Starscream, or Jetfire was one. Make one that nobody makes, yeah. you know, just to be different. I bet you people will jump on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one from Tunchy, and that is Eri Casamoto for the Metal Slug 3 video game, which I did used to play oh, yeah. in the arcade. Mm. And this is, what, the fifth figure in that line? They're one twelfth scale. I like these, but the price point just gets me. This is 140 mm. for a 12th scale figure. Mm. And I, so far, every, every Metal Slug figure I've looked at, and they do have good accessories, and they have, you know, the mixed media and everything. They look mm -hmm. good. Uh, without handling it, because I could touch it and it could feel like crap. Mm -hmm. But they look great, and I like the connection to the metal slug, but the, the price point turns me off. 
Yeah, that just is to be a just lot. to be honest, mm -hmm. you know, and that's it. Oh, good. That is it. Did you see anything that you liked no. this week? Really, nothing. No, I mean I was thinking about the um, Ninja Turtles because I do collect the Ninja Turtles from yeah. Super Seven, but I'm kind of worn out with all that. I am. I'm kind of burnt <laughs> out, so I'm not sure if I'll get it or not. I see. Yeah, I, but, I understand. Uh, that's the only thing that I would get if I was going to get something, but I don't even know if I want it. I think I'm kind of burnt out. Uh, intrigued a little bit by the Warriors of Future, but um, again, don't really know what they are. Yeah. And three thirty-five a piece. Ugh. <laughs> that's that's up there. You know, I I really try to rein myself in when it comes down to modern stuff. Yeah. Uh, and although I do splurge on occasion, but um, trying to trying to keep that under wraps. And again, I like the Metal Slug twelve scale figures. But it, uh, once again, price point is way up there. Yeah. And if I'm going to throw down uh, big money, I'd rather buy something vintage, to be honest. But hey, I'll throw it out there, guys. Did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Um, if, again, we'll be going to the Legion tomorrow yep the legion comic book uh, toy and art convention so if you see us there say hi give don't, us a wave don't be too shy yeah and then we're going to probably be hitting of course joe lanta as well yeah so if that's it what more can we say but thanks for watching and we will see you again soon